Howdy doody, my fellow Shoebies. Once again, uh, we are proud to bring you another installment of um, the Shoebie Chronicles. <laughs> my name is Sam Mandelker. Um, for those of that are viewing this for the first time, they have stumbled across my channel. Um, you know, I'm proud to bring you uh, some really, you know, excited and proud to bring you some really awesome content. Uh, you know, I started off this channel doing food reviews and um, you know mukbangs. You know, about three three years ago, and um, you know I've watched my channel transform a little bit into more along the lines of um, you know, sneakers, clothing, uh, sneaker. I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, basketball sneakers. Uh, so footwear is one a big uh, a big thing of mine, a big interest of mine. Um, really into that stuff so um, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a review of uh, an all-time classic um, I haven't had this for many years actually um, so I'm really uh, amped up about this one um, so we'll get right into it um, and hope you everyone each and every one of you is having a great uh, day and evening and um, looking forward to the holidays coming up uh, so I may not see you guys um, through the holidays. You know, Thanksgiving is next week, so um, happy Thanksgiving to everybody and their families, and um, happy um, Happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas. If um, I don't, you know, if I don't bring you another production um, in that time, but looking forward to this one. Uh, so I got this, and. Um, it came pretty quickly. I ordered this um, over the weekend. It was shipped out on Monday. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday, I think, in the tracking, and then it was updated to today. So I thought I was gonna get it next week. <laughs> so uh, funny thing is they, uh, they're pretty good with the shipping. It was by laser ship. And as you can see, right away, uh, you can probably tell by the branding and the logo what it is. You got the iconic tree, and this is a pretty cool box. So it is a Timberland, but Timberland's got so many different kinds of boots, colors, colorways, uh, different types of uh, styles. So you know, I'm a big fan of the, the field boot, which is an all-time favorite of mine, the beef and broccoli. But this is something, I had a pair of wheat Timberlands back in the day. I haven't had a pair of construct construction boots, you know, probably for a long time. So, and uh, I've never seen this box before. It's these are waterproof too, so you can see the box. Guaranteed waterproof since 1973. They've been doing this these boots, uh, this brand, since 1973. Yeah, great. So uh, from planting trees to serving in our communities to the products we make, that's why we strive to include recycled, organic, or renewable natural materials in nearly everything we make. That's why nearly all of our leathers are from a tannery rated gold or silver by the Leather Working Group. That's pretty cool. You get the premium leather. Guaranteed waterproof since 1973. Our waterproof footwear incorporates a variety of of advanced waterproofing materials, treatments, and processes. We start with waterproof leathers that are sealed as part of the tanning process. We then either seam seal the footwear or use an internal waterproof breathable membrane to help feet stay dry. Hmm, cool. So there's a lot of layers to these boots, it seems like. Um, tongues and zippers treated with durable water resistant coatings utilize integrated gussets <laughs> it's a funny word gusset never heard of that gussets to further deter water entry or gussets 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 g-u-s-s-e-t-s -S -S. so it's it looks like their technology their 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 overall process seems to be the same but their technology may have been a little bit got a little bit more advanced since the last time i had a pair of these and um yeah looking at the boot you, you get the uh, the paper that it comes in, you get the classic Timberland tape. 
very crisp. And you can see right away, it comes as a uh, package in the paper. And here are they are. Construction Timberland boot, double sole. You gotta have the double sole. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but that's definitely something that I learned over the years to get double sole. So you got two soles there. And, um, and of course, so yeah, th these are actually um, the Rust New Buck Color Wax. And um, I remember they were known as cinnamon. So looking at them in, in the camera, it looks kind of like brownish. Um, I was looking at the pictures on like the, on websites and it looks so much like a darker dark brown. And I really, you know, was leaning towards getting the wheats, but I had a pair of wheats, you know, back when I was younger. And I wanted to get them again. I like the lighter complexion of, the, of that colorway. And it just looks so, you know, clean, you know, when you wear it, a, a brand new fresh pair of construction Timberlands. So the wheats were something, you know, those are the most popular. Those are the, you know, everybody's got them. I love all time favorite. And I was definitely leaning towards those, but the rusts were calling my name. And I, I remember these were known as cinnamons. We used to call these cinnamons because they look kind of cinnamon-ish. And, you know, my friend, had these, remember, uh, Chris Clark, <laughs> one of my uh, best friends growing up, he had a pair of these and I would always admire them. Like he would have them, we'd walk to school and you know, I would, he would show them off in, in high, um, at Columbia, Columbia High School. So um, it just brought back <laughs> memories of that. And I, I kind of just remember that. And, um, but yeah, he had a pair of these and I never had a pair of in this color. I've had always wheat, so thought why not get these you know and um, but yeah so these look so clean right now you know I mean obviously it's a new pair I'm getting them right out the, the box and um, yeah but you it's, it's suede suede new buck very very nice um, you have okay so it definitely comes with the, the tag they still put the tag on it so you get the hang tag and some people don't wear it. I personally wear it on there. You know, I, I don't. I don't care. I, I'll wear it on there. Um, I lost the, the hang tag from the wheat constructions that I have, um, but yeah, uh, definitely wear. It. I'm glad they still have the hang tag <laughs> on it. Um, you got your tongue, and then there's so many different variations of lacing it, rocking it. You can rock it with your tongue out. Uh, I'll, I'll see. If, yeah, it looks, I'll see if I can do it on foot, but, um, yeah, very clean, just as how I remember, um, look at the bottom, just a classic bottom sole, it makes me just not want to even wear them because you like the freshness of the sole, <laughs> you know, the sole is just very, there you go. That's what it looks like. And, um, very, very premium from the sole. You get the double sole right here. Uh, double sole technology. You got the Timberland tree. Toe box right there. I like the view that they show them in pictures where, like, you can see an aerial view of them. So it's just kind of like that. Tongue, I gotta work on the lace, my lace game with these because right now it's looking a little suspect, you know. They didn't really, I gotta lace these myself and the tongue <laughs> looks a little, but um, a day or so breaking, uh, maybe a day or two or maybe a week wearing these, they'll be broken in a little bit more. Comes with a shoe tree. And what does it say inside it out? These are eight and a half. Eight and a half. So you see the sizing right there. And then right here. What does it say? 
400 Prima Loft, Prima Loft 400M. So it must be some kind of technology. I think that has to do with the uh, the interior where they were saying that it was um, insulated and the gussets. Oh, the tongues, the tongues and the zippers. So the tongues are treated with durable water resistant technology with gussets and then you have uh, seam seal waterproof breathable membrane so that must have to do with the primal off technology on these um, you got your eyelets here for the, the laces laces are just you know kind of pretty much the same lace laces I do have to lace these up a little bit better. These kind of right, like right now, just right out the box. Uh, but overall, man, I'm really excited about this. I haven't had a pair of these in ages, and I mean, I don't really, I, you know, this is more for fashion for me. Um, my job right now, I don't really work in a where I would need like boots, but. For me it's fashion and it's also just you know kind of like i, I want to just say like similar kind of like just a lifestyle of uh being a fan of different sneakers um different boots shoes things of that nature so i love the double sole right here and it's gonna look a lot different when i'm wearing them for sure and when, when you're outside wearing them um i also got a a brush here Timberland brush you can get this on the website and that's where I got these on the website there was a sale going on if you if you hurry up by now I'm sure if you're watching if by the time this video comes out you can still catch the sale I mean these are going for like 200 they've always been going for 198 for the longest time and there's barely ever any sales on these or coupons or discounts um, they just recently raised it to 210 right now for these but if you hurry up i think they're doing an early black friday sale you get uh, i got these for 168 and they came out to with um shipping and everything 181 dollars so that's pretty good you know considering that these never really go on sale too much and you can't really get these discount unless you know you got some kind of connection you work at a foot locker or you work you know somebody or you own timberland or the corporation but but awesome um, sh brush here that I got. I've I had gotten this brush uh, when I was, you know, they've always had these these brushes, the Tim Timberland brush. You can get it on the website. I think it's about like eight bucks, seven bucks, and it's got like the rubberized uh, uh, sole. And this is for like the eraser. So if you get any scuffs on your boots, you can um, erase it out, and then you just, you know, it's got the brush. So you know, like you you like you do with your hair <laughs> or you know you can you can brush your hair but I, I brush my boots to keep it to keep it clean so yeah so um yeah I say brushing them like that and I'll probably be doing this all the time now you know got the brush got the boots and when I wear them I'll be brushing this throughout of course of my day so so excited about this the, uh, the combination brush and cleaning brush and boot once again awesome uh, to me I, I like it I mean I like the colorway what are your thoughts on it you know the colors uh, definitely it's not like your your traditional wheat um you know timberland heads probably you know people that are, are big fans of tim's or just you know even newbies on this um probably can be a fan of this color too or maybe not but you know let me know your opinion on them um i would rate these i don't know i'd say a 10 out of 10 you know i mean a 9.5 would just be no reason for a 9.5 so 10 out of 10 on these for me all the way around and I haven't even worn these yet but I'm giving these a 10 out of 10 all right folks well it was a pleasure um, for you guys to join me today um, really happy about this and um, I'll be
other than that, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Sayonara.